Hi guys, welcome back to another Alpha's Kitchen tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make pepper. Now you guys can eat pepper with almost anything and everything you want. Um, if you guys are new here, don't forget to like, comment and most importantly subscribe. Stay tuned for the tutorial and let's get right into it. So these are the ingredients you guys are going to need to have to make your pepper. We're going to need some parsley, some garlic, some scotch bonnet pepper, two red onions, lemon and lime, ginger, spring onions, some sea salt. I've cut and washed all my ingredients already off camera so now I'm going to place them into our handheld chopper to chop the ingredients. As there are too much ingredients and my handheld chopper is too small, I'm going to chop the ingredients in two parts. I like my pepper to be diced, so in order for it not to become a puree, make sure you don't over chop it. When making pepper, I like the colours and the vibrance of the diced ingredients. I mean, how beautiful does this look guys? Absolutely delicious. Now that all the chopping is done, the next step is that we need to season our pepper. And yes, that's right, you season pepper. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna squeeze your lemon and lime. You can also use lemon and lime juice if you don't have fresh lemon and lime. When you've juiced your lemon and lime, add it to your pepper and stir it thoroughly. Last but not least, add your salt and stir. Some people like their pepper spicy but not everybody can handle the burn. That is why we add salt. However, when you do add your salt, be careful as to how much salt you do put because it can become salty. At this point, you would taste your pepper to see if, if it's spicy enough for you. And your last step is add some oil, stir and you are good to go. Storing your pepper is easy, I highly recommend buying a glass jar to store it in or if you have an old jam jar for example at home or any containers you can also store your pepper in there. Once you've put your pepper in a jar make sure you store it in the fridge. That is our pepper done as you can see 
it is beautiful just look at all the colors ladies and gentlemen but that is the end of today's video and tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye guys